The Ottawa Senators need to focus their attention on reuniting Captain Brady Kachuk with his brother Matthew this offseason. The Senators have the cap space and trade chips to make this move happen, and it should be a no-brainer to help finally complete the rebuild. By uniting the brothers of destruction, the Senators will be a force to be reckoned with and a team their fans will be proud to cheer for. Matthew Kachuk has been a consistent point producer and a top six forward since arriving in the NHL during the 2016-17 season. He is a world-class agitator that also plays a solid two-way game, and he's currently having a career year with 24 goals, 32 assists in 48 games, with a surprise in Calgary Flames. He is big, mean, physical, draws penalties, and is the type of player everyone wishes they had on their roster. He is among the top wingers in the NHL and is due for a hefty race this coming off season. Now, what would it be like if he was reunited with someone just like him? Welcome back to today's episode, everyone. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications so you know when I publish next. With all that out of the way, let's get into today's episode. So Kachuk has a lot of control over the situation right now and it's unclear if he wants to remain in Calgary. He is a restricted free agent at the end of the season but is one year away from unrestricted free agency. If he decides to go to arbitration, he will get a one year qualifying offer which would send him straight to the UFA status during the summer of 2023. Losing a player of his caliber for nothing is a risk any general manager would be wise to avoid and if Matthew is unwilling to sign a long term contract, Calgary general manager Brad Trevliving will have no choice but to explore trade options. The Flames need to talk to his agent and figure out if they're willing to sign long term. If not, they need to explore the trade market this summer. He was rumored to be unhappy with his ice time under Daryl Sutter last season. While losing a player of Kachuk's status may not be ideal, the trade packages that you can receive might make it worthwhile. Kachuk is not the only free agent the Flames need to worry about this offseason with both Johnny Gondreau and Andrew Mangiapane due for hefty raises. It will be nearly impossible for Trelleving to keep the whole band together, and if Kachuk doesn't want to be the long-term flame, trading him for some high-end prospects could be a great solution for the franchise. It is always difficult bringing free agents to Calgary and trading for high-end prospects is a strong solution. On the other hand, the Senators have more than enough prospects and draft picks to entice the Flames to pick up the phone. Clearly, the Senators would be able to make the Flames an offer that they couldn't refuse. The deal could be beneficial for both teams, as the Flames would have more young talent and salary cap flexibility, while the Senators will become one of the most difficult teams to play against in the NHL. Even after locking up Brady Kachuk to an extension, the Senators will still have cap space to play with and could finally become an appealing destination for free agents. Matthew and Brady are clearly very close, spending their summers together and keeping tabs on one another throughout the season. The two could unite and become the most hated duo in NHL history. Two agitators, who are also brothers, playing in a passionate Canadian market would be great for the league. With Brady locked up for another six years after this one, not only will they have tremendous chemistry with one another, but teams around the league would certainly not look forward to playing against the Senators. It could be like watching an evil and diabolical version of the Sedin Twins, and who wouldn't want to watch that? Also, it would be nice for parents Chantal and Keith Kachuk to focus their attention on one team only. It must be very hard for them, keeping up with the Senators and Flames on a nightly basis. The Brothers of Destruction need to be united, and it might as well happen in Ottawa. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.